Yeah, are they? Yeah. Mm. Are you good at that? I think so. I mean, I've been managing the live streams. Are you filming me now? Yeah. Why? You don't want me to film you? <laughs> What's going on? Well, we were having a conversation. Oh, I see. And you ended it did abruptly. I, did I? Because I noticed you're filming me. Well, yeah, I wanted to catalog what you had to say so I can use it. Oh, what do you in the use? future sometime you maybe? In the future, maybe. Then people don't want to hear about that. You don't know what they, they want to hear. They want to hear about what we're doing down here. They don't yes. care nothing about what we're doing down here. All right, I give up. Okay, good. What are you doing anyway? <laughs> <laughs> we. We we are cleaning up in the museum today. It's a cleanup day. Yeah. And I know people ask us about it a lot. We did a video on it a long time ago. And, you know, just retouching on that. And you saw I'm up here basically dusting. And I'm using a makeup brush. And some people um, responded saying mm -hmm. that they got it. And thank you because it really does it work. It makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when you're dealing with uh, cellophane packaging. Something like this right here. Mm hmm if you wipe that you can scuff this even like a baby wipe even something that's like uh you have the uh, cloth for cleaning glasses mm -hmm. you can still scuff this up but the the brush will not yeah and effectively and there isn't very much dust in here for a couple of reasons one because of regular maintenance and two because of the way that we have the environment set up because mm -hmm. it's a contained space and a lot is done to prevent dust from building up in the first place so we don't have too much to do like you notice for example the ceiling tiles you see we've colored a lot of them yeah if you know anything about the ceiling tiles they they uh, shed they shed dust constantly but if you paint them they can't mm -hmm. it um, seals it in yeah, almost it seals it in basically but they shed dust all the time um, that's why it's a huge problem in office buildings yeah. and it clogs up their um, ventilation also but take our little makeup brush and just start on the top of one section at a time and work my way down dusting the uh, dusting off the items and the shelves mm -hmm. just as simple as that and it actually doesn't take that much time. I know a lot of people feel overwhelmed and like, God, I got so much crap and I don't know when I would find the time. Um, you can make the time or you can just do a section at a time. Yeah, chip away do, at it. You don't have to do the whole thing at once. And these are good also for dealing with loose pieces. They're very gentle. You know, you got your loose figures or whatever and they need to be dusted off. You can get around them and dust and they're good for getting into the little nooks and crannies and all around the figure or whatever you have even the smaller pieces you can easily dust them off like that another reason why there's a reduction of dust is because of the dehumidifiers mm -hmm. and you see there's no windows no windows in this area so there's no sunlight coming in and that's important because there's no uv light and these lights when no one's in here they're off it's pitch black in here it's temperature controlled so it's always cool in these rooms and we have our dehumidifiers and this they're two, off now yeah, they're off right of the now. noise she shut them off so that you could hear yeah this is my side is a mess yeah her but this a mess. is <laughs> this is a dehumidifier yeah. and it runs constantly and we dump the water twice a day yeah in the winter you don't have to dump it as often no, in the probably summer once a day in the you, summer um, in the uh, winter but they fill up, um, they both fill up. We Like she said, we dump them twice a day. There's an air filter in there as well. So it circulates the air and pulls the moisture out of the air, which means no mold problems, no mildew problems. Um, no bugs. Yeah, no insects. That's a, a, a tip and a trick that I tell people a lot of times. You're having a problem with, uh, like if maybe you have a basement set up and there's bugs getting in, whatever it is, roaches, spiders, ants, um, mice, rats, they can't stand it if it's too uh, if it's too dry. It will kill them. So a dehumidifier is running and keeping the moisture level low. Like um, 
this will operate between like 34 to 42 percent depending upon how high the humidity is outside so 32 to uh, or 34 to 42 percent humidity in this room is too low for most critters to survive at least not for very long so it drives them away or kills them usually within the first day and that's an important thing to consider it's worth investing in one of those if you need them and they often turn up at pawn shops we found yeah. the, uh, we had two identical ones at a pawn shop and mm -hmm. they were great yeah we cheap. had it for a while yeah um now if you go to if you because we found one in the uh, 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 uh value village it didn't work no um, you know, at, <laughs> Thanks, the, at the thrift, thrift store, they kind of just put things out. Um, so you want to be careful. Yeah. But the pawn shop, they're a little better. And if it doesn't work, you can return it. You can it. return it. Or you can buy a new one. Mm -hmm. They sell them at Walmart, uh, Home Depot, Amazon, of you course. Can, yeah, you can find it online. Yeah. But that's, you know, keeping the sunlight out, keeping the temperature nice and cool. Fluctuating temperatures are bad for packaging. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it can cause discoloration in the packaging. It can cause um, these aren't discolored, but you know, just pointing it out, it can cause discoloration in the packaging. It can cause the uh, the seal to separate. It can cause all sorts of problems, especially if there's moisture and it's getting warm, cold, warm, cold, like in a storage. You know, the uh, cards can warp. They can uh, start to separate. You never see the cards where they're splitting mm -hmm. because it's layers of cardboard. It, it, all sorts of things like that can happen if it's not temperature controlled. So, yeah. we, like like we were saying, it's usually really cool in here. Uh, the dehumidifiers are going, so it's dry. And the dehumidifiers help reduce the dust as well as the fact that there's no windows. Even a really well sealed window, um, some dust can get through. Yeah, you know it really can believe it or not, uh, unless you've got like some fantastic windows, which a lot of people just don't. Um, lack of sunlight, and so no uh, UV lights, and again, when we leave, these lights all go off, and it's pitch black in here. And that's what we're doing. And of course, like I said, you start top down because the dust is going to fall, and then when you're finished, then you can. Swiffer the floor. Yeah, another thing that's good for dusting is the Swiffer uh, Like when you wiping off the shelves these little Swiffer um, uh, Towels yeah, the ones that you put on the end of the Swiffer they work great for the shelves You just open them up and wipe the shelves down and and they trap the dust they do work good just like the commercial says and yeah. I use it on the floor um, so the dust you doesn't don't fly, kick, it, yeah. kick up. You don't want to kick it up. Mm -hmm. Also, if you got something that's open faced, like this uh, zog right here, is open faced, I can't get in there and dust. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to blow a little bit of, of it out with an air duster. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't do, you don't want to overdo it. But you know, the air duster just to blow the dust out of there. And with older pieces like this one, you can tell that no one ever cleaned it in there and so it's limited what I can actually do because it's still sealed yeah but things like that people they get lazy with it or they they don't think they can or you know they get discouraged because it they think it's going to be a lot of work and the more dust cakes up on it if it does get uh, exposed to moisture it's going to stick to the boxes yeah and it's going to stick to the uh to the packaging and that can cause a lot of other problems yeah something you can do just like say okay 30 minutes a day i'll come and just wipe some things down put some music on yeah. and just wipe things down and it helps you see if anything fell yeah anything's broken or missing because you had family members over or, you or some oh people God. over <laughs> And now something's missing. Or you may want to rearrange some things. Yeah, you, know, you so might want to rearrange. Opportunity to uh, to shift some things around. Okay, I needed to squeeze something in here, or I wanted to take this out. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it gives you an opportunity to do a couple things. So, but that's what we're doing. Just dusting, Cleaning listening up. to some records, and yeah. 
They're not on right now because we don't want a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like when the, uh, I guess, because we were just, what was the name of that album? Switch. Switch. She was just listening to that and it went off and then suddenly she's filming me and it's like, okay, what are you doing? Yeah. But uh, <laughs> that's okay because, you know, we'll share it with you guys. I know we've been, people have been asking us for a tour forever. Yeah, we'll get the tour done. We yeah. got to wipe down some more things. Yeah, probably when we're done cleaning it up. I mean, you can kind of get the idea, but just a better detail. I know mm -hmm. people want to want to see piece by piece. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cool. I mean, I get it. We have some things that uh, you never see. Mm -hmm. And I, I totally understand that. It's, it's fun sometimes because you, you recognize something you may have forgotten about or that you haven't seen for a long time or maybe that you never knew existed and it can be kind of cool when you see tours so we totally get it so I don't know any other tips on cleaning um no I think that's it just you want to kind of do it often try at least once a month yeah try and get down wherever your room is and just wipe some stuff down you know just to keep it up and keep it maintained because it's about maintenance also yeah not just having it putting on a shelf and then forgetting Forget about it. it yeah forgetting about it and you'll find it gets easier as you go because there's less to deal with often it's tedious because it's been put off for so long yeah and it starts to build up and it's like oh you got to be kidding look at this and then when you see it like i was saying you get discouraged mm -hmm. it's like oh i know i need to clean this you know when you when you pick your figures up off the uh shelf and you can see footprints from where they were standing because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i mean it's like an investment you put a lot oh, yeah. of money into these figures you want to you want to keep them up. You want yeah, to keep them maintained. Time, a lot of money, a lot of effort, mm -hmm. and a lot of emotion yeah. in many cases, cause especially with the nostalgic ties that a lot of this stuff has. Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a feeling you get from some of it sometimes. So you like, especially if it's a connected to a childhood memory or something like that. So, yeah, it's important. So treat it like it is. Yeah.